Right, we've proved that the principle of induction implies... No, no, start again. We've proved that the well-ordering principle implies the principle of induction. So now we're going to prove that the principle of strong induction implies the well-ordering principle. So we're going to do strong induction implies well-ordering. So what we've got to do is prove, use some statement about sets to prove that well-ordering is true. So the statement is going to be... So let Pn be the statement if n is in a set, then it has a least element. OK, so now let's try and prove by strong induction this fact being true for every n. Because if we prove that for every n, then we've got that every non-empty set is has a least element. Because if you're non-empty, that means you've got some n in your set. OK, so first note, note, if Pn is true for all natural numbers, then well ordering is true. So our aim is to use strong induction to prove that this is true for all n. So let's first check the case n equals 1. n equals 1, well certainly this should be a set of natural numbers. If n is in, if, if 1 is in a set of natural numbers, then it has a least element. The least element has to be 1, because 1 is the smallest natural number. If n is in S, then, whoops, if 1 is in S, then 1 is the least element. Okay, so I should have said somewhere, let S be a set of natural numbers. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, let S be a set of natural numbers. Uh, let S be a set of natural numbers. If 1 is in S, then 1 must be the least element of S, so P of 1 is true. So now let's try and show that we can deduce P of K plus 1 using all of the P of 1s up to PK. So this is why we've got to use strong induction here, because we're going to have to use not just the K case, but all of the cases from 1 up to K. So now we do the step. Suppose that K plus 1 is in the set. Well, either k plus 1 is the least element of the set, or something smaller than that is in the set. So either k plus 1 is the least element, or it isn't the least element, in which case there exists some j less than or equal to k, such that j is in the set, right? But then, we're allowed to assume P1 all the way up to PK. So we're going to assume P1 all the way up to PK are true. So in particular, PJ has to be true, right? And now that J is in the set, we know that the set has a least element. So this implies, in which case, S has a least element by P of J being true. So look at what we've done. 
We've assumed that P1 up to PK are true, and we're trying to deduce that P of K plus 1 is true. So suppose that, P, uh, that K plus 1 is in the set, either K plus 1 is the least element, in which case F the set has a least element, or there's some J in the set, in which case S has a least element because P of J is true. So either way, S has to have a least element. So we've deduced that P of K plus 1 is true. And that's what we wanted to show, right? We've done the step. We've assumed that P1 up to PK are true, and we've deduced that PK plus 1 is true. Therefore, by the principle of strong induction, P of N is true. I don't know where to put it now. I've run out of space. Mm, I'll put it here. Therefore, by strong induction, P of N is true for all N in the natural numbers. Therefore, the well-ordered principle is true. 